Good day everyone! Today, we will be discussing science, changes in solid materials. Together, let's make learning science fun and easy. In this lesson, you will describe changes in solid materials when they are bent, pressed, hammered, or caught. Solid materials can be changed in many ways, such as cutting, tearing, bending, pressing, and hammering. Such actions may change the material size shape, texture, color, and other characteristics or properties, but no new material is formed. Let us perform the activity to show ways by which we can change the characteristics of the materials. Pressing a clay will change its shape, change its size, and texture. Bending a plastic bottle will change its shape, form, and it will leave a dent. Cutting a piece of cloth will change its shape, its form, and size. Hammering a nail will change its size. It penetrated in the wood and only the head of the nail is visible. Let's do this. Do the activity below. Use only the materials that are available in your place or at home.
based on our activity, let us determine the item that responds appropriately. Handle, what can I do to change the material? Bend, cut, and hammer. What change happened to the material? Changes in size, shape, and texture. Aluminum foil, what can I do to change the material? Bend and cut. What change happened to the material? Changes in size and shape. Wooden stick. What can I do to change the material? Bend and cut. What change happened to the material? Changes in size and shape. Metal clothesline. What can I do to change the material? Bend. What change happened to the material? Changes in shape. Chocolate bar. What can I do to change the material? Bend, cut, hammer, and press. What change happened to the material? Changes in size, shape, and texture. Much thick. What can I do to change the material? Bend and cut. What change happened to the material? Changes in size and shape. Pencil. What can I do to change the material? Bend and cut. What change happened to the material? Changes in size and shape. Crayons. What can I do? to change the material. Bend, cut, and hammer. What change happened to the material? Changes in size, shape, and texture. Used paper bag. What can I do to change the material? Cut. What change happened to the material? Change in size and shape. Plastic glass. What can I do to change the material? Bend, Cut and press. What change happened to the material? Changes in size and shape. Let's do this. With the given solid materials, show ways by which you can change the characteristics of the materials. Check each column where each material responds appropriately. Stone, we can hammer it. Clay, we can bend, hammer, cut, and press. Eraser, we can cut it. Sponge, we can cut it. Copper wires. We can bend it. Plastic straw, we can cut it. Cloth, we can cut it. Ballpen, we can hammer it. Metal spoon, we can bend it. And crayons, we can bend it. Hammer it. And cut. Describe what happened to solid materials when they were cut, pressed, hammer, or bent. Doing such actions change the material size, shape, texture, color, and other physical characteristics, but no new materials is formed. Let's do this. Examine the different solid materials given below. Choose the physical activity that will cause the material to respond. Write the letters of the best correct answers.
A plastic bottle will A and B. The slippers is B. The papers will letter B. A door will B and D. A log can be letter B. A handle letter A. Crayons A, B, and C. And leaf letter C. A paper tissue letter B. A shades letter A and C. A roof B and C. Watermelon letter B. A pillow letter D. A metal spoon letter A. A book letter B. Always remember Solid materials can be changed in many ways. By cutting, tearing, bending, pressing, and hammering. Such actions may change the material size, shape, texture, color, and other characteristics or properties, but no new material is formed. Thank you for watching. Till our next science lesson. Goodbye!